going to share with you about smart governance. Uh, we're targeting uh, large organizations and medium-large organizations that struggle with heavy hierarchical structures and corporate governance bodies. We'll help you implement what happens in the committee meetings, what happens in the leadership team meetings, the board meetings. We generically call a proposal anything that gets submitted for a decision. A proposal author can trigger the creation of a proposal, recruit a team of people to collaborate with him or her on building that proposal. He can then bubble it up to his boss and he or she may feel that uh, maybe they need to request uh, legal advice or a technical advice. When this good to go, the proposal is then submitted to a leadership team member and this person may decide on the proposal or may choose to push it to be included in a leadership team meeting. By the end of the meeting, the meeting secretary pushes a button and generates the minutes document automatically for you. And then for every single proposal that achieves the decision, you can then forward it for execution to all those who are relevant to the get it done part of that decision. This com executive committee also needs to report to another committee or to the board of directors. So we support this reality out of box. So the vision we're going after here is hierarchical structures, the several different committees, the leadership team, the board of directors, all participating on the same ecosystem, on the same processes. If you go beyond the one organization, if you have a conglomerate, we also support for the decision-making ecosystem of each organization, but also hierarchies between organizations. So you can have a processing starting somewhere in an hierarchy in subsidiary A or C, and then bubbling up to its leadership and from there to the parent company. So Karen will create a proposal to make an acquisition of um, something that is related to our day-to-day -day, uh, activities. It, it will automatically trigger the creation of a document that will be attached to this proposal and this document will use the default template that is configured at the timeline. As time goes by, we would have several events and every time someone makes an action on this proposal, they will get an event on the timeline. Since this, this is no longer a draft, she could bubble it up for approval, requesting approval. The way the hierarchy is configured, Karen can skip the next in line and bubble it up directly. So I'll just press OK to send a proposal and we can take a look at the timeline and we have an additional event that, is, uh, uh, that has been added to the timeline stating that the proposal was sent for approval. How would Albert know if, she had, if he had something to do? So he will get an email stating, OK, now you have a proposal from Karen. We'll just schedule on the next meeting and as we can see, the meeting was already started. We have several options for the proposals. We can do electronic voting, we can do manual voting, we can do a simple deliberation. So let's just do that. I'll just use that the board authorized this. So it automatically suggests me a default a deliberation text. I'll just go with this one. We can generate meeting minutes even before the meeting is closed. And what we'll get is a Word document that is using the default template for this, for this organization and it will have all the decisions that were taking place during the meeting. After this, we can go to each agenda item for execution workflow that will allow other people in the organization to uh, uh, perform what or execute what was decided. After Karen gets a, gets a task, she could also get back to the proposal and see history of all the decisions that took place in the proposal and back on the timeline she would see what happened in this proposal during this time.